Whenever you're working with booleans in Blender, you can end up with a mess like this one. Now, if you want to avoid it, keep watching because I'm going to show you quite a few tricks and tips on how to avoid it and how to create clean shading with booleans in Blender. Let's go. Let's talk about shading problems with booleans. So when you run booleans in Blender, you're probably going to encounter some issues, especially on curved surfaces. And I want to show you why is it happening and how to fix it, okay? So now I'm going to be using uh, add-ons for this tutorial because it's simply easier and faster. Now, if you're new to Blender and you still don't know what the hell is going on, I suggest you grab our free tutorial. It's called Hard Surface Jumpstart in Blender. You can get it on our website for free and the link is in the video description. So, you know, go ahead and get it. Now, if you're using add-ons, you can follow along. So anyway, but even if you're new to Blender, this is going to be very educational to you to stick around and, uh, you know, you may learn something interesting. So when you're trying to combine these two surfaces together, which is called Boolean, you will see that we're going to have some problems with uh, shading. So I'm going to grab these two, go to uh, Hard Ops and Union them right together. And even though I'm going to apply Weighted Normals, you will see that I'm going to have a lot of problems happening on my mesh. And the reason why it's happening is because of uh, the way that the boolean runs through all these massive faces. So in basically in polygon modeling, when you're running uh, a shape across uh, a flat surface that is being bent, because this surface is being bent, you will most likely encounter shading problems. And the reason for that is because basically you are trying to bend a massive surface and you're running a shape that's irregular through that uh, through that face. So what we need to do here, we need to mitigate the damage, all right? Now let me show you how we do that. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to add some control loops, with Control R, and add them, you know, on this side, on the other side. I just used Alt X mirror with Mesh Machine add-on, and I'm gonna add some more loops here uh, in this area, uh, like this to simply add more geometry because what i want to do is i want to make this long face here smaller uh, which will help me to mitigate shading problems okay so now i'm, I'm going to combine these two um, you know via union uh, boolean you'll see that the results going to be a little bit better so let's just go here and at the normals now i have some problems here on this side you can clearly clearly see here that we still have problems here but this situation on the cylinder is a little bit better right we don't have these issues here on the top you know just in this area which is fine so now in order to fix the shading on the on this box here what i need to do is i need to contain uh, these these massive quads here and you know kind of slice them into smaller portions and I can do it in the same way so I simply go here and I'm going to introduce more loops and since this boolean here isn't applied yet it's a live boolean so if you go here you can see it's a live boolean so I can turn it on and off it's not applied yet so I can apply geometry onto the cutter and that geometry is going to be uh, basically transferred onto the mesh okay so if i'm going to now apply this so go here operation smart apply you will see that my mesh is going to get this geometry being you know injected into the mesh right so now what i can do and i can actually start you know fixing the uh, uh, topology here a little bit because it's a bit of a mess and uh, try to mitigate this situation and there are many ways of doing this one of them would be with a mesh machine so you know grab this thing here go to experimental uh, option of mesh machine which is offset cut and we could use that um, and you know this would be extremely helpful because it's really quick we're going to increase the factor to increase the density make it smooth and also uh, turn off the optimization and i'm going to simply run a bevel here which will you know connect these two shapes and then all I need to do is actually clean the boolean uh, connections here. I can do it with Mesh Machine as well. It's really easy. That's why we use add-ons, guys, right? It's just so much easier and, uh, you know, and simple to do. Now, here we got a bit of a shading problem because this bevel got a little bit too close here. We have, you know, uh, the area isn't contained in here. But what I can do is I can run another loop, plus J, and the problem is solved mirror to the other side done right 
So it looks much, you know, it looks much more clean than this um, area here because we simply contain the situation, right? But there's another way of doing this. Uh, so we can do this manually and I'm going to show you how to do it. So here, let me just apply this. So operations multiply and, you know, uh, we can just start fixing this manually here. We can even go to occlude so we can see the geometry. Combine these two uh, here, boom and combine these right and then i can combine these here shift one right combine these shift one and i can actually run this edge here like this uh to create this kind of like a you know parameter around this connection to contain the uh, the shading uh, we can combine these two and these two are fine we can actually move them away from one another and it's gonna be okay all right so now you see that this looks much cleaner now and you know the shading will never be perfect because uh, we're working with uh, you know we're working with a uh, booleans and we're working with polygons so you know it depends on how dense topology is going to be because the denser topology the easier it's going to be you know to contain the shading problems uh, but uh, um, you know this will do so now i can copy this to the other side so we'd have to do it on the other side and probably copy to the bottom so we have to do it in the bottom and you know we're done now this issue here is caused by a lack of bevel and the bevel simply isn't added here because the edge um, this angle here between these two surfaces is lower than 30 degrees so i could technically lower this down to some you know smaller value and fix it this way you just have to be careful and look around your mesh if you're not causing any problems because if you overdo it, you're going to basically make a lot of faces look flat. Let me show you. So if I go really low in here, you know, you're going to go to this situation. You don't want that, right? So we're going to go back to 28 degrees. And this is actually fixing this issue here for us, which is fantastic. And there you go. Uh, you know, this is actually a really clean Boolean connection on a curved surface now we don't really need any of these edges here so what we could do we could actually run um clean mesh with hard ops which will remove unnecessary edges now sometimes clean mesh with hard ops removes too many edges like for example here it created a quite a mess so you got to be careful you know how you use it but most of the time it should be fine we can actually fix it manually here a little bit maybe it's going to be a bit better so let me see uh, let me see now clean mesh one more time it's still causing problems just removing too much geometry here so you know what we're just going to skip it and um, we could technically remove this automatically i mean manually yeah so we could just you know snatch all these edges here we really don't need them they just don't contribute to the shape they simply just, uh, you know, create more unnecessary geometry. Neither these, we don't need any of these. Technically, we don't even need these, I think. Although these are actually kind of continuing through. I mean, these are fine, but we don't really need. If you wanted to remove, you can actually remove all these here as well. You don't really need that. All right. So technically, probably going to remove that. You'll be fine. See, shading doesn't change, right? So there's a lot of stuff you can remove. And, uh, you know, shading's on hold so there you go that's how you solve problems with booleans on curved surfaces so remember that when you're going to be running booleans on curved surfaces in blender or any other polygon based software the key is to basically create geometry that's dense enough in order to support the shading the curvature of the surface so then the shading doesn't break because usually, right, in these situations, the problem, um, you know, with shading is just bent faces. So when the face is bent, right, then you're going to see shading problem. So that's how you, uh, you know, deal with that. And again, if you want to learn more about basics of Blender and you want to learn the foundations of hard surface modeling, I highly recommend our tutorial, which is free. It's Jumpstart Hard Service in Blender. You can get it on our website. The link is in the video description. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.